let's continue the assembly of the vibrating bird food distributor or dispenser. So I now printed the, these additional parts and as you can see my i3 mega printer i3 anycubic is really in really good shape it's printing almost perfect results so what i printed is this extension of the uh, viking vibro feeder it's going to be hooked up like this something like this I have to drill a few holes and put some screws through there. And then it's the optogate funnel or tunnel, like this. It hooks up like this and uh, I, def I really don't have a, a nice way. It's not that perfect design. So I think I 3D printed a, a, thick, a thin stripe that I bent. I should, we find that out later. These parts are actually made in uh, Google SketchUp, so these are some of my earlier designs. And uh, yeah, limited in opportunities. Uh, nowadays, I use Fusion 360. I'm not mastering that software yet, but it's so much, it's so much harder to get started. But it's so much easier to design stuff when you get up and running. So that's the two two parts, and then we have the flywheel, the the unbalanced flywheel looks like this, and this is a, also maybe this is a fusion design. I guess so because this is a M3 times 12, 12 millimeters length, I guess, and then there's a a nut and a dedicated pocket for that nut. This could be redesigned even further. It doesn't clamp that good but it's designed for a very small DC motor like this with a two millimeter axis so I think we start here and uh, be careful when you push because if you push in the house in the housing of the motor you will squeeze the most important part with the comm commutators I think they call it in English and all that stuff so you have to make sure that you are pushing on the axis and uh, squeeze this in and now I'm not doing as I say as I said to myself but I think we could get through there and then I push on with something in between I push on the what could I use I push on the axis from top here it's a little too big go with that maybe so I make sure that I'm pushing on on the axis rather than the housing mm, not really there yet there we go I think yep, fairly central I'm not sure that I will need this this clamping thing but because it's really tight squeezed on but I give it a try see if I can yep there's definitely something happening okay I mean it's not that super important that it is balanced because it is by definition an unbalanced plywood so we hook it up and see if it's if it's alive I'm almost nostalgic. This is a really, <laughs> this is one of my first power supplies. It's super old, but it's uh, still up and running and it's easy to use. Um, just uh, switch on the button and we squeeze the voltage up. There we go. A little bit more of the amps. Yep, 
in the WeWork. And you will have to keep track of the orientation or the rotational direction because this is an asymmetric vibrating device. So uh, there is, I think, there is more acceleration in the vibration, vibration in one direction. That's what's gonna push stuff in one certain direction. But that's easy to adjust. And then, as I said earlier, unfortunately, and then you can decide on what side you want the flywheel. I'm gonna start with this side, and as I told you earlier. The Viking, this, the New Zealand Viking Vibro feeder design is designed for a slightly bigger motor. In fact, I'm not sure, I guess I read somewhere that they were actually recommending the motor and the unbalanced flywheel from an adult toy. Unfortunately, I don't have an adult toy available right now. So that's why I made, I took this small DC motor and I 3D printed like a helping adjustment or adapter. In this case it had to be one millimeter thick and now I hope it should fit nice into the into this housing. Yes I think so. And push that. Something like that. And then tightening. I don't need that anymore. Tighten the screws here, see if it's gonna fit. Since I've done this before, for another project, my first, I know that even though it's, I mean, you want to do things quick and see that it's working, this will really find its way to loosen up over time. So pay some attention to that. Yeah, it should be a nice vibration. 